to you guys, I'm able to express my feelings and I'm able to express how I'm feeling. I can't always do that with other people. And it's really nice to be able to talk about how I'm feeling and have others that can relate to how I'm feeling. Instead of, you know, sometimes you be having people, that's crazy, that don't make sense, and you need counseling, and what does that mean? And that, 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 like, that, the, you shouldn't be sad, and I don't wanna hear that. So, with you guys, I'm able to talk freely, so I just wanted to talk to you guys and let you guys just speak on how, I was just gonna speak on one death, you guys, like my dad's death, but I was like thinking, I'm like, no, because when my dad died, that was hard. When my uncle died, that was hard. When my cousin DJ died, that was hard. So I was thinking about all these different deaths that has happened, like my grand grandfather, like, oh my gosh, you guys, like I can, the list can go on. So I was like, was just gonna talk about my dad, but I was like, let me not just talk about my dad because that wasn't the only death that has affected me, you guys. And I also have a, uh, I also have a friend where his cousin died, and his cousin died. I, I'm not gonna go into details of how his cousin died, but he witnessed and saw his cousin pass away. So ever since then, he has stated that his life and everything has not been the same, and he has fallen into like a, just a look at like a deep dark hole, and he's been trying to get out of it. And his family, his friends, his girlfriend, everybody has trying to get, get him to get out of it. But the death of his cousin, he blames himself. And he says that ever since his cousin has died, every single day waking up is very hard. And he blames himself for his cousin's death. So the reason why I'm bringing that up, you guys, because you are not the only one that's dealing with the death of a fam family member, you guys. I've noticed that the life that I live now, now that I am 32, I don't feel like I am the same. I don't feel like I am the same. Everything feels surreal. And even though everybody has died, death is really deep, you guys. And the thing is about death is like, it's like, okay, like, you know that once the person passes on, when you pass on, when you go to the afterlife, you're gonna see the person. But if you're used to seeing this person every single day, they're in your presence, you're in their presence, you talk to them on the phone, you see them, you interact with them, you see them every single day. Phone calls, talking to them, everything every single day all the time gosh i'm getting emotional so and all of a sudden you don't anymore you guys it's just they're gone you got to clean out the closet you got to get rid of their stuff sell their stuff or keep it whatever you got you you guys decide to do and it's like you're in a shock like just to snap somebody that you've been that you that's been in your life your whole entire life on earth you guys and just to one day not see them anymore, they just boom, disappeared, gone. And you will never hear their voice again, never see them in person, never interact with them, nothing. Like that's deep. And I've noticed that when I had lost a lot of my family and my friends, that I, I've never got canceling for it. Now I, I have, you know, canceling for it. But when it happened, I tried canceling, but I was never consistent with it. So Imagine carrying a burden and dealing with grief so big to where it feels bigger than you. And it's so strong and it's the feeling of it is like, whoo, sometimes it's like you can't even bear it. You can't even bear it. But dealing with that feeling every single day, you guys, ever since my dad and my, my family members, ever since my family members died, you guys, I have never been the same, never. Like the person that I once was, when they died, a piece of me left with them. And so days when I wake up, like, I'm just like, days when I wake up, I'm like, golly, like, will I ever feel the same? Will I ever be the same? And the answer, unfortunately, is no. When death happens, man, death is so deep. I want to say I can take on anything in this world, you guys. I have taken on so much stuff and got through it. But death is one that I just don't understand. And I know that it's a part of life, and I know that it happens. But... It's just a feeling, man, that I don't wish on anybody. So me waking up and me carrying a burden and each day knowing just because knowing you lost that family member, you lost that friend, but you got to get up each day and keep going. Keep living. Keep going to work. Keep praising God. Keep living for your family. Keep living for your kids. Keep providing for your family. Keep going after your dreams and goals. Keep breathing. Like all that after a loss. That takes a special type of person. And I noticed that once you lose somebody dearest to you and so close to you, you notice that like the, your personality is not the same. 
I know a lot of people that have lost people dearest and really close to their heart. And the way they were before the person died is so much different after the person died. And it's so sad because it's like, they got to get through, you got to get, get, you have to get through grief however you can get through it. Now, I don't condone to drugs, to anything that's going to harm yourself or, or harm your life or can take your life into a negative direction. No, I don't condone that, you guys. I'm sorry. So drinking every day, getting high every day, drugs, gambling, like any bad habits, any, any, like any, any bad habits that you, you pick up, I mean... I don't condone in that, but honestly, grief is really hard, and a lot of people just do whatever they can to get past it, even if, if, if it, even if it is smoking, even if it is doing hardcore drugs, even if it is picking up the bottle every day. People do whatever they need to do to get past it. Now, I can easily say, hey, look, don't do that. Go to prayer. Go to church, but it's, it's, it's not that easy. It's not, it's not that easy. And really, like, I, so I'm not, I'm not going, I, I don't judge people, you know? Like, like my friend was like, man, like, I, I, I do what I have to do to survive. Like, I know that it's not healthy. I cry every day about it. I think about it every day. And everybody blames me, you know? Like, so it's like hearing him on the, hearing him cry like that is so sad, you know? But unfortunately, things happen in life. And we have no, we have, all we, all we have to do is go for it, you guys. But I was like, just been like, kind of like, I just been kind of like, what is wrong with me? Like, what's, what's wrong with me? Like, no matter what, like I can be on top of the world accomplishing everything. And it's like a void, you guys. And I noticed like, man, those deaths. And even like, for example, like my uncle and my dad's death, that was so, my uncle and my dad's death and my cousin's death, it was so all of a sudden. And my friend, my friend uh, Michael, he died last year. And we were just talking like five days before you guys. And then I'm like, where the heck is he at? We talk every day. I'm texting, calling his phone, no answer, nothing. Go on Facebook, like he died, you know? So it's like, and then with my dad, it was just, we got a phone call, he's hurt. My uncle, we just got a call, hey, like he's gone. You know, he's been gone. So all, all, all of those traumatic things, my nerves have been bad ever since. Like I'm just always, even if I, if I get a call late at night from any of my family members, my friends, I'm like, hey, what happened? Like, and it's like, I get real scared that I'm gonna hear bad news that my anxiety has been bad because of it. And it's like, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't, you can't, it's like, even when you hear bad news, you know, or if any, you're like, man, like, can I take on this? Because I've took on enough. Me, it's just coming into grips like, hey, like, Unfortunately, you can't bring these people back. So all you can do is just try to find a way to live your life without them, try to function and try to make your life as normal, normal as possible. But you're never gonna be the same, man. You're never gonna be the same. When that family member, that friend died, a part of you went in that grave with them and it's deep. You know, it's, if, if they're your person, you know, that, that person that you talk to all the time, once they're gone, a part of you is messed up. It's like gone, it's gone. So. With me, it's like I'm just walking around here like, like this damage, bro. Like there's, it's the damage is done. All I can do is just live. All I can do is live. All I can do is live and talk about it. And I noticed that when I'm able to talk to people about it, like my friend, you know, saw his cousin. And so with me, like I saw my dad, you know? So it's like, when we talk, when we conversate, I'm able to relate to him. I can go there with him because I've been there, done that, you know? And so it's like with him, I was like, hey, look, man, like you gonna have to, I'm, I can easily sit here and say, get your life together, but you gotta take it one step at a time. That's what I told him. I told him, I said, one step at a time. That's all you can do. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. You need to take a break, that's it. When you're ready, take another step. One step at a time. Don't feel like you could don't don't feel like you gotta rush grief. Don't feel like you gotta you're gonna go through all the five stages of grief. That's what I told him. I'm like, don't feel like you gotta rush it, bro. One step at a time, and I just pray that you just get through it. I be having all these thoughts, you know, when it comes to death and like the whys and what happened. And I hear about Adam and Eve, and it's like once you go through something traumatic, even though you went you went through it, your body still picks it up. Even if it's like death anniversaries, you guys, let's say if you got a call 
on a certain day. Let's say if it's like September 19th, right? Random day. And you got a call that like, let's say your one of your family members died, right? And you in that moment and the way you feel and however the weather was and the smells around you, like it, it, it all that, when that day comes, trust me, your body gonna feel it approaching. That's why when I feel off or I feel sad, I look at my calendar and I'm like, whose death anniversary is coming up? What's coming up? And I'm like, oh, okay, my dad's death anniversary. Oh, okay, my cousin's, my cousin's death anniversary. Oh, oh, okay, my uncle's birthday. So it's like your body knows, so you got to be prepared. And I noticed that because sometimes I be off. I'm like, why am I off? Like, why am I crying for no reason? Like, why can I not get it together? And I look at that calendar and I notice, like, look, okay, like your body knows, like something tra traumatic happened years ago on this date. So your body goes back to it. So that's normal. So just really like recognizing you guys, how I'm feeling and recognizing like, look, like how you're feeling is normal. You're human. It's a part of life, but learning how to actually get through it and work past it. I'm still working on that. You know, I still have my days, my days where I feel really strong. Like, look, I got this, like, you know, I, I feel empowered. Like this, this not going to break me. And other days where I'm like, okay, like this death is hitting me. Like, all throughout my life, you guys, I noticed that I go through different stages. So when you lose a family member, you're going to go through different stages. You're going to experience a lot of things. But as long as you recognize it and you know that this is normal, you know, then, then you're able to handle handle it. You know, so I just I had to vent because I'm just like, man, like, it's just once you lose somebody that you really, really love. And you don't, you know, it's like, dang, you, you have to function life without them. And then don't don't try to think about it and run everything back in your head because that can drive you crazy too. But I'm not gonna talk about that. Whew, it's crazy how like just talking about something and getting getting it off your chest. That's what I noticed with me. I used to just bury a lot of things how I'm feeling inside and I wouldn't even speak about it. And even when people ask, people used to say all the time, like, look, your dad passed away, but like you don't cry, you don't when when people talk about it, like you don't express it. It's because you guys, me, I'm just the type of person where now that I'm older, I'm able to express how I'm feeling. But before I was always like, I got, I got it. I can handle it. I can handle it. So I wouldn't express, I wouldn't say anything. I would just say, no, I'm straight, you know, inside where I'm like passing out thousands of times, but I don't ever express that. So me being able to express and look like today, I'm not okay. Like today, like this event is bothering me or today I'm thinking about my family member. I'm thinking about my friend, you know, like, so me being able to express myself and express how I'm feeling about the matter that has been so, so helpful. So Ever since all, all those deaths, you guys, and in my family, I don't know if a lot of people can relate, a lot of people have died. More on my, my dad's side than my mom's side. But, I mean, both sides, people pass away. But on my dad's side, it's like hit after hit after hit after death after death after death. Like, cause, but on my dad's side, it's a huge family. For example, my friend Michael, he used to have seizures. So he would text me, he's like, girl, I have to go to the hospital, but I, he's, he told me, he was like, I'm scared. Like some days I'd be feeling like I'm never going to wake up. Like he's like, that's my biggest fear. I don't want to cry. I'm sorry. He was like, that's my biggest fear of me having a seizure and me not waking up because I want to live. I love my life. I'm, you know, bought my own apartment. I'm doing everything that I always wanted to do. And I'm so happy. So my biggest fear is me not waking up. And he said, he was like, I'm telling you, these seizures, these seizures are bad. And he's like, these seizures are bad. And I, 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 one day, I don't know if I'm ever going to wake up from it. So I told him, I'm like, look, you got to go to a specialist. You got to do something because that's not normal. And you live in a house by yourself. So you need to, you know, have the hospital keep you until they can find out what's happening because that's not normal. But the reason why I'm so sad, you guys, is because it's like every, like, I be complaining about my life. I complain about my life. I complain how, you know, I get mad at people and I get really mad at, like, people that are closest to me. And I'm always complaining, like, oh, you guys don't treat me, treat me right. Like, I feel like, you know, I treat everybody better than I treat myself. And it's like, sometimes I'm like, I, I feel like I sound like an ungrateful brat because you're over here complaining about life, but you still got breath in your body. You live in a very nice house. You have your health. You can see. You can hear. Uh, you have you have a great paying job. Uh, everybody in your house is healthy. You know you have food on the table. 
you're able to communicate, you're able to live every day, you're able to wake up and have another day. And then you have people that want to be here on earth and that loves their life and they and they die and they're not they're not able to live. So after him dying, I'm like, look, like he cherished life, you guys. Like he lived it to the fullest. Like he loved his life. He was always happy. So after him, I'm like, man, like I really gotta do a lot of work on myself because you got somebody that got snatched from the world. And then you have people like me that are finding stuff to complain about you know when there's so many people that want to be, be in my shoes so from from him saying yo i want to live like i don't want to die you know it's like being around people like him it just really taught me to be appreciative of my life and even though i go through good things and i go through bad things and uh, you know god is good and i'm breathing i'm here you know, if I make mistakes, I'm a I'm able to backtrack and I'm able to backtrack and make up for my mistakes. I'm able to change and be a better person. I'm able to turn my life around to make my life be what I want it to be. I'm able to do all those things, and I have breath in my body to do it. So, me, God plus placed my friend Michael in my life for a reason. And after dealing with him, I'm like, I, I'm like, cause he loved to travel and do everything, you guys. So I've been getting out more. I've been thankful. I've been even like taking small walks, you guys, going outside, getting a breath of fresh air, like just taking advantage of being on Earth. Because all the people that died, my friends and my family, they did not want to die. They did not want to die. They wanted to be here. They loved life. They were beautiful, beautiful people, beautiful people, you guys. And they wanted to live. They have so much life in them and they got snatched. So even my dad, like my dad loved to travel. My uncle, he loved to dance. My cousin, he loved to party. My friends, like my friend Michael, he, he always had a great time, you guys. He had a housewarming party and he invited me. And you guys, uh, he had pho where him and his friends got together and they made homemade pho and it was so beautiful. And he was so sweet. He was hugging everybody. We got him gifts and... He was saying, I'm just so grateful and I'm this, I, I, I can't believe all you guys showed up for me. Like, it's like that beautiful soul and I'm sitting here being ungrateful, not taking advantage of life, you know? So me interacting and me being able to experience these people and me being able to really see how good God is and me to really see how blessed I am, how blessed. Even though I go through hard times, you guys, like I'm still blessed. I'm able, I'm able, I see another day. And I just want to tell you, even though it's really hard, you trying to function your life without, you know, your loved ones, your mom, your dad, your best friend. Like, you know, my heart goes out to you. I'm praying for you. And even though the burden's heavy, like I can relate to you. Now I don't have it all figured out. I know on some of my other videos, I have a list of different things I can help you help you get through grief. I can most definitely do a video on that. But right now I'm just, you know, sharing my thoughts and how some days it's a struggle to try to fathom and gather your thoughts around you never, ever being able to see a loved one again. 